What's up, YouTube? It's Curly Sa Victoria back with another video. And if you're new to my channel, thank you, boo. And if you've already been subscribed, sis, you are that woman. So thank you for coming back. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, click the bell to be notified whenever I post another video. And let's get right into this video. So this video, we're gonna be talking about thy hair. What I'm going to be doing to thy hair from now until July or whatever. So you guys, let's just talk about hair stuff, okay? You guys know that I'm locked. Been locked before um, for all those three years and then I got rid of my locks, I combed them out, I used to maintain them myself, do everything. So got rid of my locks after three years, um, fast forward a few years down the road, decided to go back down the journey again. But this time, the lock journey has way more meaning to me than it did the first time. Um, so I definitely see myself on this journey for some time time. But yeah, this is my hair, basically new growth and everything like that just slicked up into a bun. But I'm going to literally let you guys know some tips, I guess, um, for growing healthy locks, I guess that would be. And uh, I'm actually going to tell you guys what I did to get to where I am in my lock journey. I'll try to remember to post a photo in the end, at least one, um, to show you guys like where I'm at right now in the journey. So let's just talk about it. So I started my lock journey this time around, second journey, July 1st, 2019. It is now April 20th, no, April 19th, 2020. Um, so as you guys know, I have a couple more months until I'm going to hit a year. Okay, so I'll be 10 months on May 1st. And then, you know, June 1st, 11, and then July, a year. So a lot has happened in a year, literally in my life and in my hair journey. And it's just crazy that I was just starting my locks, literally starting them last year. And how thin they were. And like, you know, like when you first start comb coils, you're just like, dang, it's going to take some time before they, you know, butt up and before they get, you know. And I just remember thinking, I'm going to get to that stage again. But whew. And as time went on. I never really covered my locks or anything with wigs and anything. I was never that type. From the first journey till now, I just wear my locks how they are. Whether it's cute to people or not, it doesn't matter because I'm confident. And that's one tip I would have to say if you're going to go down the lock journey. Confidence. Confidence is key. You should be able to look your worst in your locks and look your best and still hold confidence inside without caring what people think. If I cared what people thought, like it would be a lot of things I wouldn't do. So that whole journey from then until now, nine months in, nine and a half months in, I haven't covered my hair with any wigs or any weaves or anything like that. I just wear my hair as it is. So I would say confidence is key. Number two, tip number two, drink your water. You guys know water is crucial. Water is crucial. It's not only good for your body, your digestion, everything that goes on in your, you know, body. It's also good for your hair. I look at my hair as a plant. I literally water my hair. So some days I will literally just be in the shower and I will just let my, the mist hit my hair or just rinse my hair. But I also put water in my body. Not only do I put it on my hair, I put it in my body. And um, that's going to take you a long way. Water is going to glow your skin which is gonna help with the lock process in my opinion because you got glowy skin, that face and that skin is glowing and beautiful. That hair is falling in line too. So, you know, you still, cause I'm always that person where if my makeup isn't on, then my hair needs to be laid. Or if my make, my hair isn't laid, then my um, makeup needs to be on point. I was always that type of person. So I feel the same way with the locks. If my makeup, I mean, if my skin is glowing, my hair ain't looking all that, then it's okay because my skin is glowing. So just basically keep that mentality that um, you want to drink your water. You basically want to be confident, drink your water. Third number, the third tip that I want to give you, number three, is basically I would say just low manipulation to your hair. I I before locks and back in the day or whatever, 
a top knot was always like my go-to style. I was always doing a top knot bun. So I would say between a top knot bun and a low bun when I'm going to work out, those are gonna be my go-tos. You gotta find out what your go-to was. It was not until I was eight months locked um, that I actually started wearing my hair down this journey. I didn't really wear my hair down until literally like month eight. Once I got into month eight, I'm like, I felt like, I won't say confident, I just feel like, cause the confidence was always there. I feel like my hair was starting to form a little bit as far as budding, even though it's not budded all the way through on the ends, it was budding more, so it looked better down. In those months prior, it wasn't really budded all the way through. So for me, I would keep it in a bun or I would keep it in a, a low bun or a high bun real quick just because I wanted to make sure that I was able to control my locks. Like, and by controlling, I'm saying if I can put them up in a bun, then I know that they're not being like, you know, messed with to potentially unravel. So once it got to the point where I felt like I can wear them down, they weren't going anywhere, unraveling or anything, that's when I wore them down and that that's pretty much month eight. Um, so low manipulation and sleep on a satin pillowcase or tie your hair up at night, period. Uh, tip number four, I would say when you wash your hair, if you have a finer texture of hair, and even if you don't, um, definitely for my fine, fine textured hair people, look ladies, if your hair curls up like the minute you put product on, then you're going to be probably want to be one of the people who are going to focus on shampoo, you know what I mean, during your, your wash journey. Other people who hair has the tendency to lock up quicker, I don't know, maybe you guys use shampoo or, or conditioner in the beginning. For me, I had to do complete opposites to get my hair to mat up. I felt like when I washed with shampoo, it made my hair a little bit more, um, it developed more frizz and it made it a little bit more nappy and that's what I needed. I needed my, I needed my naps to come out, you know what I mean? Instead of every time I hit my hair with like edge control or a product, it just like, it almost goes back to the comb coil stage of, you know, being so loose and like curly. So I literally would only wash my hair with shampoo and I would, wouldn't wash my hair as frequently. The max I washed my hair in a month was two times and that was with shampoo only. It wasn't until I got to month eight, month eight was like the highlight for a lot, that I started to wash my hair with conditioner. Um, not all the time, maybe once out of that month, uh, but I needed to condition my hair uh, maybe like twice because when I recolored my hair black, I conditioned it with the aftercare conditioner, but also I conditioned my hair with just regular conditioner to condition my hair. You know what I mean? A, like a really good condition. Um, but I don't condition my hair often. And I maybe I will when I get locked back all the way through. Um, but right now it's all about the shampoo game. About the shampoo game. Um, it's important that you pick out good shampoos too because you want clean scalp so those ones that really really get that gook out of your hair that product uh that allows it not to have product build up from your edge control or your retwist cream or whatever those are the shampoos you want you want those sulfate free ones that you can just i have some shampoos that my hair goes so foamy so foamy and i love it when it gets that many suds because it's like it's getting the dirt and then i just really focus on those roots and let that water just run down my hair and oh girl who you ever got out of the shower after washing your hair and your your hair is just feeling so clean and you just like you want to get your whole life together like you want to clean up you want to make a list to do list you want to write out your goals like yeah that's me after a good shampoo like scalp cleaning day um i'll be washing my hair soon don't know what day exactly but i will be washing it because it's been a few weeks like probably like almost a couple weeks that i last washed my hair so yeah your girl needs to wash it um as a curly girl i used to think that deep conditioning every week was very important um obviously in the lock journey there's a lot of different things that you have to do so i'm not really basing a simple regimen right now um like i'm not making a permanent regimen for my hair and I'm just noticing that I wash my hair like at most two times in a month. It's normally with shampoo. 
This is a crazy thing that you guys probably haven't heard yet, but I have not put oil, physical oil, in my hair for nine months. Like those natural oils that we have, that God has blessed us with, whew, they be coming through, sis, because my hair don't get flaky, it don't have dandruff, it don't have any of that. Part of it is probably because I keep a clean scalp. Um, my shampoos, you know, I make sure that those are the types that also provide moisture and they're not like the ones that are gonna strip your hair. Um, I spritz my hair with water pretty much on a daily. And yeah, I have not added oil. So I'm thinking about either adding oil in my regimen back in a year, when I hit a year, or I might start doing it now, being being that I did say I wanted to try to freeform until July 1st at least. Um July 1st is my is my one year anniversary, but it pretty much from the last time I washed my hair until July 1st will almost be three months that I last washed my or that it'll almost be three months that I last retwisted my hair. So I'm going to check on the date that I last retwisted and then I'm going to try to make it to July 1st or longer without a retwist. I would like to retwist on July 1st being that that is my uh, day, but like my year. Just to kind of show you guys where growth is, but part of me don't want to retwist because I want to freeform. So I guess as we get closer, I'll know if I'm going to retwist on July 1st or if I'm going to just freeform and take a picture and then after that retwist of a year, then just show you guys. I don't know yet. So I'll let you know. Um, What are we on? Five? Fifth tip. Let's see. Fifth and final tip because I really don't want to give too many tips. Um... Let your hair do what it do. That's a simple period. Let your hair do what it do. Your hair is a plant. Water it. It shall grow. Period. Okay. You don't always have to throw shampoo and conditioner in your hair, sis. Sometimes you can just let the steam hit your hair from the shower. Or you can just simply turn around and rinse your hair while you're in the shower and let it dry. You do not always have to, you know, just basically just clean your hair. Um, also, what you eat, what you drink, those things in your body, those are going to play a crucial role as to how you um, your hair turns out, basically. Um, it's, it's about lifestyle, pretty much. It's about lifestyle. Throughout these nine months, I could tell y'all this with confidence. I told you I haven't put oil in my hair. I literally wash my hair with like shampoo every like two times within the month, once or twice. Um, I only use my retwist cream, which is water-based. Whenever I retwist my hair, I do use edge control. Like you guys see, uh, it's kind of like, whatever, you can kind of see some of it. But I use edge control, but I, um, like to do edge control especially when my hair is not retwisted it's not done like as you guys can see it's not done it's really not it's actually growing out and but edge control and swooping my edges and you know just doing my hair right that helps it not to look as messy and that's another reason I mean I love black hair because black is classy black, black is everything black is my favorite color um and yes it is a color let's argue no but I like to keep black hair because one um, it's my favorite color too. It looks classy three. It hides a lot like when I have my blonde hair one You got to maintain it. You got to keep it moist moisturized, but blonde does not hide blonde be like sister You need your hair retwisted black you slick it up, right? It's like okay sis hair looks good So it's a lot of perks to having black hair um, but I definitely would say Let your hair do what it do let it grow. Don't manipulate it too much don't sleep in your hair ties either. I don't sleep in my hair ties. I take my hair ties out and if I tie it up, I tie it up. If I don't tie my hair up, then I just sleep on like a satin pillowcase or something. Um, and then be patient. Just let your hair grow. Locks help me because it works on patience. Um, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, the same day you plant the seed, it's not gonna grow, okay? You're not gonna get the harvest the same day that you plant, okay? So that's the way I look at it. Like Rome wasn't built in a day. It's going to take some time, but when it's all over and done, you're going to be thankful for the results. So 
Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know if you're on your lock journey. If so, how long have you been on it? Are you thinking about getting locks? And if you need some lock motivation and you're not sure or you are sure you want locks, then go check out my hair page, Babe with Locks on Instagram. I'm going to drop the information in the description box or a description box below. You guys go check that out. Follow my main page for updates and to see my other pages. And I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. Stay hydrated. It's only a little something, but why does it feel like it's too?